Hi guys, we are at World Food Expo Day 2. I'll do a tour of the place and I'll do some highlight exhibits today. We have a special interview, I'll do a special video for that. I'm going to showcase some of the businesses that I think are going to be useful. Let's go! The registration area here is at F1 entrance, so that's this one. Um, it's like uh, you do something at the front and then fill out the forms and it's here at the back, at the front, and then at the back. Then right behind it is a stage where they have a kitchen, they have a kitchen theater where they showcase like particular products. Uh, so right now they're showcasing a hollandaise sauce. The second floor is like where the registration is. The first part has a lot of coffee stuff, coffee equipment, coffee certification stuff, coffee education stuff over there. So there are like associations of coffee producers. There are coffee specialists, some advanced stuff here. So on the map, on the right side, like after entering from registration, you'll see more coffee stuff on the right and some, some local delicacies some local products, local coffees and stuff like that. This first part, coffee. And coffee is like big and it th seems like it cashed out because a place like this is around 50000 for a 2x2 two two or 100000 for a 3x3 three three booth. The coffee is dominating this one for sure. So definitely they had the money to spend for advertising this stuff. Again, equipment provider, so La Faema, La Simba, Da Vinci, so, well, Del Matisse, Henry & Sons. So if you're familiar with those brands, at the middle segment, around F2 or F3, there's a very rich display stage. And at, around the stage, they have like UCC, we have a station, Immerflex, MK Kitchen. I think there's a Magellan Deca, Astro Lab. So look at this more barista stuff. CT Food Concept, yeah, MK Kitchen, yeah, UCC, Allegro, Allegro, that's here. Further along the F4, F3 area, you have some equipment providers. So this is more of like food processing area or kitchen stuff and interior stuff. You have catering. Yeah, Thailand booth is here for some reason. But most of the national brands are downstairs. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at those in a bit. Hmm? There's a brew, brewing company here. So they help you start up your own brewing brewery. I'll do a special review of that as well. So in this area, you have everything around decorating your kitchen and your house. So yeah. Like, yeah, even beds, I don't know. Kai Cable's here. Echo Lab. Crown Regency. Some travel hotels are here. Trading company, so, you know, every equipment you might want to think of. There are some fitness gears and some massage chairs. I don't know why that's in a food expo, but it's there. Probably got it cheap because it's the far price. I suppose, but people make money out of that. Fire security. We are outside, and outside the before the registration on the second floor, you can actually some Filipino food artisans, artisanal stuff, some stalls. Well, not all Filipino. The the center stage is around Filipino, uh, Filipino artisans. Yeah, you can see that food caravan, Metolius Valley. So there's a vegan group here. Uh, pit masters, whatever that means. Chips. Chetok cha, it's like like a milky thing. What is this? Sounds Vietnamese? I don't know. Laura's, also we'll do a video of that later. Mindana Food Corp. Mindanao Food Court. Okay, they're already distributing, that's what she's saying. Taza, Mia Coffee, Mommy's Agri Farm, Ace Premium Goods, Cinevit Pharma. What do they sell here? Oh, healthy drink stuff. Nice stall. Amasitas. Oh, we already know that brand of what they sell. Billiard Sipag, I don't know what they sell. The bong bong. Okay, um, native goods. Food condiments. They do specialty food condiments. Pampanga's best, you probably know that. The casino looks great. Poland, yeah, I know that. Yendai, Tenu Juicy, Schroeder's Deli, Healthcare. Okay, I don't know why these are here. But they're here. I want scissors. A healthy pork.
water purification and the run. Oh, the college is here. Uh, merchandising shops? Taiwan. Okay. I really don't like this stuff. It's just like tadpoles. You're eating tadpoles. Global POS. Okay, so I think there's the first POS system I see. Mmm, good, good stuff. Hmm. Delimondo, yeah, they're pretty popular already. So can see. Healthy select. Taco Rob, Shoda Food Exchange. So, so that, that's on the first floor, either side, and a couple more here, and then we'll go downstairs. Chuck of Ron, Big Thumb Frozen Food Corp, Culinary School, Sunflower, Sotang Hong. Well, okay. There are a lot of Filipino delicacies on the right side around H4 area. This is to the right side if you're from the main entrance. They have a mascot! Look at the mascot! It's right. This is the mascot. Let's go close to the mascot. They're like a mandu. The master showman. Uh, there's a franchise consultancy here. Uh, Gold Seas, I already know them. They're like seafood stuff already in distributing. Hot sauce. Okay. There's some franchise. So there's a very interesting chocolate here. It's uh, Filipino chocolate. So I've tried this yesterday. It's really good. Uh, they're a premium chocolate. Uh, I tried them yesterday. So this is Oro. They're already distributing to. Spain, uh, Europe, Japan, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, and Australia. What about locally? What shops can people try to get oro? Coffee Rock, Bordeaux, Spurgeon.pl, Coffee Maple Shake Shack, Malong Coffee. Okay, thank you. So this is this is oro. I tried it. It's really good. I do prefer this one, the milk chocolate. You should try it. So the first floor you have uh, Zhang Shi, Zhang Shi, Yudeli food, Lily's peanut butter. So this is a peanut butter brand. They're pretty popular already. So plus, I don't know how, how long peanut butter will last. I'm allergic to it. So ingredients. So most of the people here are doing pre-processed or partially processed raw mats into like something. Uh, so normally they're cut, they're cleaned, they're washed. So what, what you have here are like are those types of products. You can do bulk and well this side on the Filipino side they're 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 seeming like they do more retail. Right? Uh, that, you would expect that. Atosa, Jonas Food Corp, already know. And Lynn, Sorbetes Manila, Yard Global. Sorry. Oh my a lot of like man dim sum here, mandu. Air Global again? That's weird. What is it? Air Health Bite. So, mushroom and seaweed chicharon. Ito bestseller namin, shiitake mushroom, button mushroom, oyster mushroom, and straw mushroom. Bestseller namin, uh, nori, nori seeds. Mas meron din kaming uh, kelp. So, Capitan Del Mar seems like they're like preserved, naturally preserved stuff. Like smoked tinapa. House foods. Oh, eng beating, of course, you know that. I like some stuff on eng beating. Oh, another mascot. Sorbetes de Manila. Sorbetes de Manila. Ellen's Food House. Yeah. Nacho King. Willie Farms. Pali Group. Yeah. Prima National. Liang Sandwich Bar. Whoever that is. Manila Bambi. Oh. All your fats. 
So I think uh, yesterday I saw this. It's one of this is two hundred fifteen thousand. So you know, Manila Bambi, Guangzhou, Jiangwei, this Saka Asia. Interesting stuff. Look at this. Nice presentation. Guangzhou Aokun. Foods. Vino milk. Shiogo. <laughs> Nathan's prime meats. Joy Bakes. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the Filipino area. This one, I think they're doing some imported stuff. Brown rice, AGT foods, sweet kiss. There's some Chinese stalls here, here and there. Chachi here, sunflower seeds, liang, post may. Okay, let's do that. We were able to get someone here. This is Roy. So Roy is from R and D, and he'll talk about the products. Roy, um, I'm interested in this uh, fruity popper, all natural ingredients, and popping boba. Can you tell us about these two products? Popping boba or fruity poppers are just like pearls, but not the usual tapioca pearls. That's chewy. Okay, popping boba has juice inside, right? So it has flavors, different flavors. Okay, pretty poppers are all natural, no preservatives added. While popping boba, it has a little bit of preservatives. Talk about pricing for serving and shelf life. Pretty poppers can last up to two weeks after opening, refrigerated. For the popping boba, it's two months after opening, also refrigerated. For the pricing, it's almost the same price. For serving, it costing it will add about 10 pesos per cup or per serving. What type of partnerships are you looking for? We're just supplying to different milk tea shops. Okay, most of the milk tea shops and also some restaurant chains. Are you looking for dealerships, retailers or distributors? Are you looking for that? Not really. We are the sole distributor nationwide. We can accommodate the orders even outside Manila. I see that the flavors here are local fruits like mango, pineapple, red guava. If in case I wanted something different, like like a different is that something we can do? Yes, we can customize the flavor of our popping boba or our, the fruity poppers. For example, you want the chocolate? Yeah, we can do so. Thank you very much, Roy, for helping today. Yeah, Glenn's Antrim Potato Crisps. Super cute. Sotangbon. Yeah, that's what they're popular for. Noodles up. See you, foods. This is a kangaroo. But I think the older of this like Malaysian or Thailand or something like that. But I don't know why a kangaroo. But that's a mascot. What is a con without short skirts? They do like native products. Food crafters. Winery. Okay, so this is Thailand. Ah, it's weird. I don't see a lot of Malaysian stuff here. Uh huh. Show you. Okay, jelly stuff. <laughs> agar, agar. Kobe. Okay. All right. I think it's time for Postmate. So another interesting boot I found is Trechan. I'm with Changyang. Can you tell us more about the products that you're selling? About like a Korean kimchi. This is a cabbage, a made of cabbage, and this is a made of mustard cabbage. I like this. Okay, so they're selling kimchi products. I've tried it myself, but I'd like him to explain like what makes this product special. We spent over three years to develop our one package materials. This is called this breathing hole. Kimchi is uh, process distribution. Uh, there is a one problem uh, of popping or changing some taste. So, but it it helps to keep the taste and protect the kimchi uh, popping. This is one of the world distinct advantage or strengths. Do you have the IP for this product, intellectual property? Yeah, sure. They are doing traditional kimchi and one of the things that make them special is their packaging, I think for preserving its quality. If in case somebody wants to try this great kimchi, can we buy it now in the Philippines? Not yet. We are looking for some nice distributor in Philippines. If you want to buy, you come into our this exhibition in Philippines. And if you visit Korea, you also can buy our kimchi product. We are uh, looking for some nice di distributor in Philippines only. It's really good. Um, I think what I like about it the most is uh, it's very fresh. Thank you very much, Changyang. 
So we are at Wellbeing LS Co Ltd. They're selling this probiotic uh, powdered drink. This is usually eaten by Koreans after a meal. It's just like Yakult, but it's in powder form. It lasts six months. Unlike Yakult, not in powdered form, it is priced at around the same uh, price, and you can eat it directly. You don't have to mix it in a drink. It, uh, I thought initially it was going to be mixed in a drink. It can be stored at around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. See, they have different varieties of this brand. They don't have any distribution in the Philippines. They're looking for distributors as well. So I think that's mostly what you'd have of all of the international exhibitors. They want distributorship. Agricultural, Milwang, Arla, okay, Wenjin, Sweetie. It's like soju bottling. I wonder who the bottler is. Must be rich. Pyongyang, 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 Pyongyang. I don't know where that is. And look, tea. I'm young. Oh yeah, yeah. They're selling coffee. And in Gwangjufu, they're selling pork. It's Korean main. So they have like a taste test where you where you try to and compare like these two coffees. Try me. So, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Hang on. feeling about this. Mm. I like this better just because it's sweeter. I think it is. This one is the... Is this Ardiza too? This one is uh, this one? Yes. Yes. Uh, the coffee that you chose is Blanca. Oh, nope. Copico Blanca. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> okay, I got it wrong. But yesterday I got it right. Yes. <laughs> so this one is Samdega. They have a, yeah. like a Filipino... Uh, recipe of crispy pata. Yeah. Yes. So samdega means uh, three generations. Right. Right. So three generations. Yes. He's shy. <laughs> oh, not shy. <laughs> so this is their contact information. They're looking for distributors in the Philippines right now, but I think uh, they have very, very, very small um, minimum volume orders. So almost at retail price. Rising Red Dragon. I wonder where the person I'm meeting is. So this is a Korean head thing. This is like more of the European stuff, I think. Oh, that, that's European. Global Pacific. Potatoes. I tried this potato. Let me show you. This potato... Potato is USA. Seafood roll. This one's really good, actually. I tried this yesterday. This one sells mushroom pickles okay this one spell sells nurungji okay so this is like um tutong na kanin i think i think that's what it is international foods i don't see it a lot in uh in the korean restaurants here it's not popular or maybe it's for a specific segment that's not like doing that what is this marketing Arla Pro, what's this? Kwang Chong, Chong Uri, Uri Gim. They specialize in um, lower prices by uh, volume. So if you wanted to get this, the, their minimum order is like 20 feet of container only. And that's around less than 300,000 pesos. And that will include how many pieces? 72 times, so 70 times 600 boxes around uh, yeah, 43,000, around that much. So right now, what partnerships are you looking for We're in the Philippines? For distribution. Okay, thank you. So at the center, there's the food hall. And then right beside Global Pacific, there are a few, three more stalls up front. And here's the European pork and beef thing. There's also USA poultry. I think they have an association. I think there were some stocks that you, you can bet on something like this. There's the Taiwan area, so that's mostly like uh, pearls, tapioca. So they sell food here, U.S. food, gourmet popcorn. 
Well, this one's specifically for popcorn. I don't know what they're after. Okay, so this is a raw materials or partially processed materials provider, Dane International Commodities. So they do like uh, potatoes, nuts, fruits, trails, fruit company, foods, Bundaberg International. Lamb. Well, some people like lamb, but. I think the meat is too chewy for me. What do you call it? Too gamey. This is Link Import. Link Export. Soya bean. Alternative. What do they sell? Okay. I think we're at the south wall of area two. Uh, area Holland tulip is this tulip no I think this is the food thing Whitakers I really don't like this chocolate this is like the best presented chocolate I've seen in the area so they have this small thing I'll show you in a picture here okay this one is mostly like coffee and cream. Okay. Big. Of course, how you cook without gas. Meat. Meat. Chavez. Peking duck. Japanese rice, manufacturing, <laughs> Mamacita, so it's a popular local brand. Nutri Asia, oh, that's what, yeah, they're pretty popular already, Nutri Asia. McCormick, of course, I grew up with McCormick. They have a lot of spices, really good serving. Euro Spice. Still around area two at Nagase. So I think they're like a dairy thing. Sweetling. Okay, these are artificial things, right? Oh, they're free vinyl gloves. Ouch. Cafe. What's this? Ladies Choice, of course you know that. Oh yes, good afternoon everyone. Uh, by the way. Uh, that part was a little bit more mixed. Okay, but we'll go to we'll go around the Taiwan group. The red sakura. This is a pineapple cake. Specializing in pineapple cake in Hello Kitty, I suppose. Way food stuff. Way food stuff. Thank you. In the middle of the tuna. So you buy one, they have a look. You buy one. You buy one. Yeah, yeah. Have a look. In the middle have the tuna. Yeah. Mmm. Don't bother. What do you call this? What do you call this? Oh, egg roll. Egg roll. Ah. Tuna egg roll. Okay. okay. This one's interesting. They have three eggs combined into one. Call it. What do you call this again? Tricolored egg. egg, they call it. And it's a combination of what eggs? Uh, century egg, salted mm -hmm. egg, and clay regular egg. Ah, century salted egg and regular egg. So they, 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 very unique. Can you try it? It's um, a celebration. It's a um, jubilant flavor, so I'd say. Chang Kang Food sells drinks. 
Is, are these soy drinks? Yes, soy drinks. Ah. Soy with uh, strawberry, what's this? Coffee? Uh, this is chocolate. pure chocolate. This one is egg. egg. Coffee? I love the fries. Ah, okay. Microtech ingredients. What they sell? Oh, emulsion. Okay, so this is more of like for, like, yeah, burgers and stuff like that. You want to process your food. Sunright, vermicelli. Okay, so they sell noodles. Okay, the other side of Taiwan, and then that's the entire trade floor. Oh no, I think we haven't visited. Stage one. Stage one has like a competition. Trade external trade council. What do they sell? Oh, it's an information booth. Okay, for foods. Bubble tea. Is this bubble tea? Okay, hmm. and food enterprise. They sell. Okay, so like drink stuff, drink creation stuff. Pai Chen Corporation, beverage, milk tea stuff again. So I think it's like Taiwan people like milk tea a lot. I'll check it out later. Okay, and then what's this? Crackers shop. I think this is a specialty scaled up cracker. Okay, okay you can try. Uh, yes. This is milk, milk, milk. flavor. And uh, okay, this one. This is uh, sea, uh, green onion, original one. Green onion, yes. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Parani, of course, that's over there. I don't know if you can see that. Area 1, like, like below, behind that tarpaulin, is cooking contest. So, this is like Master Chef. This thing. That's like next level shit. Cooking competition awarding area. Moving on with the silver awardees for the sous vide.